So uh, next up, our next match is uh, oh no, not that match. We have uh, we have Sad Stork versus Glodiken. Phonon versus Yuzuriha. What what do you think of this match? That it is going to be annoying for the pair of them, as is a zoner v zoner. Yuzu does have tools to get behind uh, Phonon with her teleport, but other than that, I say I say it'd be annoying to get in, like since since they both want to play long range, you can't really force your way in sometimes. With Phonon being able to anti air a lot of Yuzu depending on her position, and then Yuzu being able to get behind Phonon if she throws out bad fireballs and things. So, I honestly have no idea which way this can go. Uh, do you think, do you think Yuzu Riha still has an advantage because of the teleports? I, I feel like it's very difficult to, to catch her when you let her move around the screen. I think that uh, might be a bit of the of a downfall for for Sad Stork just not being able to uh, prevent Glodiken from zipping. Uh, of course, like Yuzu's like main point as well as her long range with her fucking quarterstaff forward is her teleport. The way it's, like, she's able to punish like bad bad button presses, like like a hide, you can throw the bad order right behind her. You can get a thirty k combo. So, is there, so is her teleport for against Phonon is really going to help, depending on what buttons that stock makes. Okay, then I would say enough theory crafting. Uh, let's head into the match. Let's watch this. Dead stork. Player one, Glodikin, player two. But that's not. That's what? not. Well, that's somebody. Not uh, someone call Sad Stork. We might get uh, contacted for false advertising. Well, he said he said his uh, main is phone on. So Fair. that subplot break here kind of surprising. Okay. Let's I see. mean, I'm. Lon can get in more than uh, Phonon though, so this could go towards that store's favor. But apparently now, Dodekins is not letting that happen now, he's just going to get in. But of course, Side Store gets a Rekka, and is now getting his combo off. Cool. Gets the full screen corner carrier again. I mean, that's a thing in Undernight. Corner somewhere. Yeah. Are a thing, and you're stuck in at them very often. Uh, this corner pressure from Sad Stork is really keeping Lodekin there. Like, Lodekin is just not wanting to press buttons, because he knows if he does, he'll get hit by the Rekka, and that is fucking. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Every dirty cross up there, just pushing Lodekin out of the corner. So the grid. Oh, this wave. Uh, a good movement from Glow yeah. in there. Yeah. And they're looking blue oh, for that stock. Yeah, that is a dead stock. No, not yeah. yet. Drop the combo and get to long range. Right around start, that's not really something you see from a few Landrakias. You usually see him backdash into Fireball. But Landrak, well, Sandstorm tried to get in there, and it just didn't work with him. But working with him now, though, he's getting off the combo to bring him to mid screen. And then back into the corner at the close to go. Glorican again. Finds himself in the corner, another right. Rekka hit. On the overhead, this can be round one if he doesn't drop it, and it's round one to Sassor. Oh, 
Not bad. Not bad. Sad stork might be a happy stork after this first to seven. You know what, be exotic. <laughs> exotic stork. Logan can get the overhead though and it's gonna get. It. I don't remember the rune on this, but it's grown like. Three cap. No. That's, we got those. Doesn't take the grab. Gets hit by the Rekka, and he's just gonna go away with his dinosaur. But drops it. I wonder how much uh, matchup experience Glodikan has against Long Drake here, because uh, we have some that uh, some players that touched the character in Europe, but uh, it's pretty much not the main of anyone. That, that's because uh, that's because uh, Long Drake has mixed heavily deployed or size on his Rekka and since he only has like a set amount to move and go with his Rekka I kind of like lowered him down on the tier list in the game for on. So that's the main reason why we don't see many uh, Andrake players in the EU. Uh, players here would rather go for the mixed characters like Lodekin with Lodekin with Yuzu than, uh, or like, as like uh, your uh, zoners as well. Right and person probably with some of the worst messy times, depending on the situation. Yeah, Zonas? Well, we don't have any Hilda in this league, unfortunately. Ah, it's so sad. <laughs> we do have it's a phone so on, sad. that does count. <laughs> well, we thought we had a phone, uh, phone on until we got a fucking Mandrakia instead. But let's see, maybe we're gonna see the phone on pick later on in this first to seven. Oh. When things go bad, like. Uh, oh, Glorigan's off the kill. But now. That's round one, that's game two, going to Glorigan, that's one one. A retry, no phone on yet. Uh, it was still well, okay, it looked alright for, for that stock. Yeah, Tom Sork on Dracula is something I've actually never seen. It's honestly doing well to keep Lodekin in the corner sometimes and just keep him pressured. Yeah. So that also all depends if Lodekin doesn't get isn't able to take his turn. As once Lodekin takes his turn, he does stuff like this. Yeah, keep that stuck in the corner. This is going to hurt big time. Just one more touch. It's a smart Oh, tries to go for the parry, but drop doesn't get it, doesn't he? But the uh, Rekka leaves in minus. No smart play from Glodikin. Gets the knockdown, then teleports backwards, just in Ooh, case there's any fire. Dragon Punch, any reversal coming his way, so he's uh, far enough. Drop to get the overhead though. Taking no risks. On the beams. Oh, watch the drop there. I mean, the flower might have screwed his uh, hit stun. The veil of available for Glorican. Okay, no super. This can kill if he doesn't drop it, and it does. That's game three going to Glorican. I go from round to games every time I can't carry just for back, I don't know why. <laughs> like, uh, tights have turned. Sandstorm took the first match, but now Glorm can. Two in a row. Yeah. And... Oh, this makes awesome. unfortunate shield, that leaves them very bad for him. Losing him great as well as, like, leaving him very... Minus, leaving him open for the overhead. Challenge from both players there. I'm giving too much respect on those knockdowns. Stop respecting each other. Ah, that's unfortunate. To be it's a very good one for Yuzu. Sometimes. Well, it depends on who you're asking. It's unfortunate for Sad Stork, but uh, it's great. Uh, it's it's gonna be very, very happy about it, <laughs> about every single hit. <laughs> Glorikin can feel like he just won the lotto. 
turn. We can out right now as Sav Stark is currently led him into the corner. That's the flower key. Go for the Rekka, and that's gonna open him up. These corner crosses are so dirty. They are so quick. He don't break well, off, get him off him. Does not. Pressure. Go okay. Oh, oh, there we go. Gets the there. hit. Oh. Right, so Rekka leaves him minus. I go to concern now. He's gonna go in. And he's gonna go there. Oh, I'm a Rekka. Sorry. <laughs> back to mid screen. Okay. Now we're going back to the corner, guys. <laughs> we like the corner, don't we? Go well, off, I get the bow. Oh, <laughs> monkey see, monkey do. It's gonna, not gonna be enough. For sure. Yeah, just some extra damage. Mm. Ross? Okay. So I'm going to be hoping to get the mix though. Oh, gets the parry and then finishes off with the 2C. That's going to be another game for Blobican. 3 to 1. And we're still not seeing a photo. At this point now, I would have cut my losses and went to my main. Yeah, maybe, maybe Sad Stork is. It's just uh, not confident playing this uh, full screen zone gameplay against uh, Usury Ha. Oh, I mean, if if you play a character that can keep the opponent locked in the corner, you just need ball. that one opening, <laughs> that full corner carry, then uh, yeah, just uh, you just bet on that. Yeah. Get that one hit. Uh, now seven golden letters for golden Logan. A very, very impressive round from Logan. Oh yeah, definitely. Sad stop fighting back. And I'll fight back though. That hope Logan's gonna take his turn, and he drops his combo. Even open for the DP. Enjoy it for commentary. It's Luna Nova. Yeah, the guy who lost 7 3 4 or whatever. It happens, everyone loses sometimes. Except for the best player that uh, usually. It's uh, very, usually wins. very rarely. That's our space grab. Rekka! Oh, could this kill? No, it doesn't. Like the well, it does. Now it does. Enough overhead. Let's go. Leading Let's up. go, Setsu. The one German player nobody believes he's German. No, we all think he's finished for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why. It's oh. like every everyone thinks he's definitely not German. Once, once when he joined the tournament, I I I put his flag as German, and everyone was was like, no, this. This is wrong. Setstock is definitely not German. And like, he, he told me he's German. He lives in Germany. He's German. <laughs> <laughs> you don't Nationality, live in uh, yeah. He's a VPN no, in Germany. Germany. That's close enough. Anyway, <laughs> 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 uh, right, while we were making fun of uh, Setstock's nationality, he currently got grip broken and currently down hell to get. Open up by Glodekin with the overhead. Can Glodekin kill? He can! One I've never seen no more Drake here players. Yes, must go fetch. They are a very rare spawn. The Nakatsuki players, these three hard players are pretty frequent. Well, some Enkidu mains. I don't know why. Why you play would play that character, but yeah, don't break here. Don't see him too often. Probably players just not investing uh, those five bucks into getting him. Mm. Oh. As we can see, it's, it's a worthy investment. 
Sandstone. It's worth it. Yeah. Hey, to win? Hit flash. Nice Rekka opening up. That's so In a pickle. In the corner. Oh, counter hit even. Oh man, this is gonna hurt. Not dead yet. Oh. Go for the parry though, but doesn't get it. Giving down these up that type of turn. This ramp trap works out though. In the corner, back what's to the mix? other corner? Oh. At some point ever, we're just gonna have to add a toll for the Matarino. Link in the, link in the chat when everyone does the thing. This is every time when Jackie goes close to toll, she has to pay a toll. Yo, is this the comeback? Beam? Beam is there? Oh, but Yo. they're blocked! <laughs> that stock! <laughs> Where's the combat? Where's my combat guy? I thought he would get clipped at some point with those slashes. It was just one combo drop from Blodiken, left him alive. And Sad Stork, like, yep, I'm I'm taking this back if you don't kill me. I just I just win this. Rook is not taking that last round though by the same part as he's just going in. But fucking uh, Sandstorm finds the opening, gets in with the Rekka. And then just goes in again with the overhead. This is legit just Lundrakia gameplay. It's just overhead non stop. That's the only opening we can do. Yo, again, overhead. <laughs> again! <laughs> Go to him, hold back! Is this oh, a cross up? No, oh, the overhead. No, no cross up. Okay. I'm just waiting for that cross up breaker. He's got coming, the overhead though. He's still winning. Lord of was the time he was going for the cross up there and ended up going for the overhead. By the way, for everyone watching, if you like Undernight, we got an open lobby coming up after this. Don't go anywhere. By a very own Lionheart. Nana's got a hostel, so if you want to play uh, against Nana, say, want to hear, if you want to hear the home theme, I'm gonna go offline very briefly. I was playing uh, Lionheart actually for my set. That's a warm up because I actually didn't lab at all. So, he's like, not playing as just not saying, will be fun. Well, not as fun as a set right now. But what Oki after we get to see from Gold again, go to the grab. And we do casual user real gaming. And it's not over yet. Oh, gets the another, another grab! grab. This Stay is not gonna kill. kill. This is not gonna kill. It's that sort of thing. Oh, he doesn't have a bar. Shit, I didn't see the bar. I, didn't, I was looking at the wrong bar. Didn't have the meter for it. Go get the parry, though. Oh, the super boost. Oh, that's unfortunate. You could have punished there. Because they were your head! That saves me! That goes into a round three, lads! Oh, can make making it closer than it needs to be. My heart. My heart rate is going up. <laughs> Every combo drop. Go over the grab! <laughs> it's okay, just take the grab. It's it doesn't deal that much damage. It doesn't deal that much damage. You have to play grab, you're dead! Bail off. Bail off and load again. Like, oh, bail off. Now both players have me to spend. Monkey team, monkey team. That's what I always say, lad. Yo, that dirty cross up again. I don't know how Sad Storm does it, but <laughs> just appearing on the Fuck other the side. Oh, that's unfortunate. Now that's a good thing for Glorican. Happy little uh, combo starters. We take those. Yeah. We take anything that will get us past the finishing line. Oh, it's 5 to 2. 
in favor of Glodekin. Just needs two more matches to close it out. It's first to seven. But Sad Stork already got two wins. You're also playing for the points, even if he loses the first to seven. Every single match he wins is gonna be an extra point in the group stage. Not in the first to ten playoffs yet. Single elimination for now. Rekka! Look at the bell. Gotta save with the bell off looking again. You know, can open them up. I'm very delayed. Just me talking. <laughs> Just wrap it up. Great blocking and shielding from Sastalk here. Trying to get that grid though. He even breaks the throw. Oh man. And the overhead, that's a shield break! That's gonna give uh, Sandstorm the fucking cycle. Look at that grid bar! <laughs> oh no, he didn't take him! That doesn't matter. He loses the round anyway. He could have kept the string up though if he, if he changed shift. He didn't, however, and that's gonna lead, lead the round to again. That's not trying to get in somehow but uh yeah this gets opened up twice in a row finds himself in the corner and i think this is gonna be another rap no oh yo no oh he's dropping it no he didn't go for the damage he just went for the le the one level doesn't matter i know he still wins but still I think he wanted to cancel EX into infinite worth, but dropped it. <laughs> Possibly. Wanted to wrap it up nicely in that, uh, that press nice paper, you know, but... Uh, he wanted a nice bow on it. We don't get it yet. The Sandstorm's on the assault and he does get it. Great assault bait. Get off the throw. And blocks the mix up. Third throw already. On the low. Gonna hurt a lot Great more posture. than the throw. Sandstorm stage shift. Oh, what an unfortunate whip for Sandstorm. Lodekin taking the momentum back, and now we go back to the corner. And Sandstorm almost had it. Great there we go, Dragon Punch. Like, the first one of you got hit! That Stork needs every single round he can take. Lodekin already six matches on the board. First to seven, just... Yeah, one more match and then... It, that Stork not allowed to drop another one. Now looking like he's not gonna drop this one. The veil off those gas, uh... Sad Stork off, Lodekin, going in for the pressure, Lodekin's white, uh, chain shift. Oh, Sad Stork was so... was so patient, but... The chain shift, going into the EX! Not an infinite work, I'm not, if I need it, it's gonna It catches, catches the assault. Oh, that's a poor, poor wreck off that store. This could be Golden's today. I think this is. No! No, it's not the drop! Great mix, though, from Glodigan to open him up there. Taking that round, leaving it to be set points, Glodigan. And a good round start for Glodigan again. Let's go back to the corner. Lodekin is just a machine, he cannot be stopped. He's pretty good at pressing buttons, not gonna lie. Mm. And even hold buttons. Ah. I didn't know he could hold buttons, I knew he could press them. What's next? Sad Stalk, you got 200 meter. Okay. But you have no life. Doesn't block, doesn't and block this unblockable, but this is going to be the seven golden letters to end off the set. Dodiken 
takes it 7 to 0. But also, gotta say, well played by Sadstock. Was not free, not free at all. That was pretty, well, it wasn't that, that was even. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been 7 to 2. But you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying, guys. <laughs> I know what you mean. He, he, Sadstock played amazing that game. Like, Sats, like, I never expected the, the Landrakia pick, but when I saw it, I thought, uh, I didn't know which way it'd go. And the way it went, it was amazing. As Godekin was on his feet, on his toes the entire set. It wasn't just, like, Godekin going 7-0, jumping up, uh, lock the range option every single game, every single time. It was, he had to think. He had to actively wonder, okay, is he going for the cross-up? Is he going for the overhead? I don't know what he's going to do here. Oh, crap. I got hit with the cross-up. I'm now in combo, and he's on, on the other side of the corner. <laughs> so, Sandstock really got blown in thinking with his mix. However, he just didn't have, like, the expertise that Yuzu has, that Glodekin's Yuzu has, and just took this, and so he just couldn't get as much of, the, of his games off as possible. And I gotta say, as a fighting game player, as soon as you have to start thinking, not enjoying the match anymore. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, just just a quick info before we're heading off, because uh, we have the open lobby coming up uh, by Lionheart. I think he, I think he's uh, ready to to take over. Just again, quick reminder: we have uh, more games coming up next week. Monday, KOF 2002 UM. Tuesday, Guilty Gear Strive. Wednesday is uh, Guilty Gear Xer Day. And Friday, as usual, is Under Night in Birthday. This was week number two of Challenger League. We have seven weeks of group stage and then four weeks of playoffs. So if you want to see more Under Night, you should follow our channel. Also, you can subscribe now. We have some... Okay. Well, we have some nice, uh, we have some nice uh, emotes. Uh, if you if you subscribe, all the money that you that we get through subscription are gonna go into hardware that we're gonna buy for offline events, which are coming up hopefully soon. Hopefully, planning, uh, one in November, one in uh, one in January. Small one in November, big one in January. So if you can uh, if you can go to Germany, you're allowed to travel there. Fortunately, UK boys. Think you gotta stay in UK? Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> it don't COVID, matter. Right? Keep your COVID on your island. Don't want that. I, I, I mean, to be fair, uh, Ireland has Celtic Throwdown in October. That's going to be the main uh, EU event for offline this year for Ireland. So it's not going to be all bad. All right. Yeah, that's that's good for you. Right now, I think in Germany. Otherwise, outside of that smaller event, there's nothing coming up because the restrictions have been pretty tight until uh, recently, and now the cases are going up again. So yeah, let's see how it how it goes. And uh, last quick reminder as well: uh, this Sunday, Tekken Seven Community Cup, part of the Tekken Online Challenge. If you play Tekken, then you might want to join that. It's totally free. Just join our Discord or uh, look on Twitter for this SGG link. Oh wait, let me let me just quickly grab it. I'm gonna switch back to my camera. I'm gonna grab that link. Uh, bloody hell! If you play Tekken Seven, would be awesome if you would join. And last. Last chill, the match arena. Click those links, click the claim code button. Pay for someone's fucking takeout dinner. Yeah. That free kebab. It's just ten clicks and we and you get a free kebab. Or you donate a free kebab. That's that's nice. Yeah. And yeah, as Lionheart says, everyone, please don't leave. He's ready to take over with that. Uh I'll make it I'll make it quick. Again, thank you very much for watching. Please follow us on Twitter and Twitch. That's a big help for us. The higher the numbers, the cooler sponsors we get. And also thank you 
for co-commentating the last match, Luna Nova. Any last no. words from your side? Uh, I'm play on the night. And with that, we are off. Well, we, we, we too. The, the two of us are, are off. But uh, Lionheart is going to take over right away with the open lobby. So uh, stay on this channel. Don't go away. We're going to be, the, the stream is going to be back in two minutes. And until then, uh, yeah. See you and have a nice weekend. Bye bye.